The roundabout is supposed to ease traffic tie-ups in the area, but two business owners say it's coming at their expense. The construction is scheduled for next year, turning the corner of Highway 19 and County Road Q in Wanakee into a traffic circle. New at 10, Theo Keith is here with how a court battle may continue even as construction starts, Theo. Jen, some love them, some hate them, but this roundabout in Wanakee is going to happen. Now it's just a question of how much money the state will have to pay for it. When you're on the road and time's ticking, a quick snack and fast service is what you need. They call them convenience stores, you know, for a reason. But now time is running out on the Village Mobile's owners and their convenience store. Only the service station will stay open as the DOT builds a new roundabout. Through eminent domain, the DOT got the land where until this week gas pumps stood. The state's paying for it, but the mobile's owners say not enough to offset the hit to sales. Uh, I may not have any say about whether you take it or not, but if you're going to spend millions of dollars in building it, I do have a say in making sure I get adequate compensation. The owner's lawyer, Mike Bauer, calls the state's offer woefully inadequate, about a third of what the village mobile's owners had in mind. DOT administrators wouldn't talk about the suit, but say there are plenty of costs with the setup as it is now. Well, the, the, the current intersection is experiencing congestion. The DOT's project manager says the traffic lights create traffic tie-ups. He says a roundabout will be safer as Wanakee keeps growing. You don't get the severe accidents that you would with a signalized um, uh, intersection. While the DOT says the traffic circle will make the road a lot better, it means one fewer entrance into Village Mobile and drivers having to navigate the roundabout to make it into the parking lot, leading Bauer to a new name for what's left of the corner shop. Inconvenience store. <laughs> Construction is scheduled to start next May. If it gets as far, a jury could hear this case before that. Well, you said it, you know, people love them, they hate them, mm -hmm. but now there is some legislation at the Capitol that's really making it a bit tougher to put these roundabouts in. There is, Jen. A couple of Republican assemblymen have offered up a bill that would give local governments the ultimate say. The state would need to get a majority vote of the local village council or town board before building a traffic circle. So. We'll certainly keep our eye on that because it is such a uh, hot-button topic out there. A story to be continued. Theo, thank you for yeah, sharing for sure. it tonight.